Okay, so in this particular chapter, we'll talk about network tags. So network tags are specialized tags that you would use for your firewall and for your routes. So let's see how it works. So the first thing that we need to do is we'll create a few instances. So let, let's create two instances. Let's click on create instance here. And this will be called instance one. Let's make this as E2 micro. I'll change the boot disk to standard. And what you need to do here is you need to click on networking and underneath networking, there's something called as network tag. So let's create a tag. Now the use of this particular tag, I'll show you later. So let's just call this as HTTP 3000 and let's create this particular instance. Similarly, I'll create another instance as well. Let's click on create instance again. And this is again going to be E2 micro. I'll change this to standard persistent select. And again, we're going to add the same tag to this particular machine as well. I'll just call this as HTTP 3000. And let's create this instance as well. So I have currently created two instance with the same tag. Now what I can do with this tag is I can go to my firewall and I can make recommendations or I can make changes based on that particular network tag. So what I will do first is I will install a node application that runs on 3000 port. And once I've done that, what I will do is I will just create a firewall rule for just that particular tags. First thing that we'll do is we'll create our node application. Let's go to our instance one and let's SSH into it and let's create our application. So let's create our application. Let's create a very simple application. So what I'll do is I'll create an index.js file. And I have my code ready. So this is a very simple web server that just reads from port 3000 and it just returns a hello world. Let me copy this. So this particular code I'll give in the description below. So you can just copy it if you like. So let's run this node application. And similarly, I'll create another node application in my other instance. But before doing that, let's see if you're able to access this particular application. So let's Try to copy this and let's paste it and let's do port 3000. And you can see that it doesn't work because we have not opened port 3000. So what I will do is I'll go to my firewall. And I will create a firewall rule based on that particular tag that I had given. So let's click on create firewall rule. And let's just call this as HTTP 3000 as well. And I'll just add firewall. So here what I need to do is I need to choose my network. So my virtual machines are in VPC network too. Ingress, I need to allow ingress traffic, allow. So here you have the option of either mentioning all instances, but you do not want to mention all instances. You just want to specify it based on a particular tag. So let's click on specify create tag. You can also mention it based on service account. But for our example, let's just choose specify target tags. And here I will just paste that particular tag that I created. So that's HTTP 3000. And here I need to mention the source. So the source can be any IP address. So let's just make this as 0000. Slash. So what this defines is that any particular source can access these particular tags on port 3000. So finally, we also need to mention our port. So just click on TCP and mention the port that you want to open. So it's going to be port 3000. So once you've done that, let's click on create. And let's try to access our application again. And you can see that we are able to access this. So the next thing that we'll do is we'll create another instance. So the next instance that we create, we do not have to add anything to the firewall rule because there is already a firewall rule that specifically targets this particular tag. So let's see whether that works. So let's go and add a node application to our second instance. So let's go to instance two. And let's SSH into this as well. So again, I'll just create my node application. So let's just create one VI node. Uh, let's just create an index.js file. So again, I'll paste the same application. I'll just copy this.
and let's run this application as well and now because there's already a tag associated with this instance this should automatically work so all that i need to do now is i just need to copy this external ip and let's paste it with port 3000 and you can see that it already works and you don't need to make any settings to the firewall rule okay so that is how firewall rule comes in handy with your network tags the second thing that we will do is we'll go to our routes let's go to our routes the other place where your network tags come in handy is if you want to create a particular route so so currently if you go through the route you can see that all instances have access to the internet so what you want to do is you just want to restrict access to just certain instances within your network and not all the instances the first thing that i do is i click on default instant access and here you can see that both these two instances have access or if you add any other instances to this particular network that particular instance will have access to the internet so we do not want it like that so the first thing that i'll do is i'll just delete this particular route click on delete and I will just target those instances that have the particular tag that we've just created. So let's click on create route now. So I'll just call this as internet access. And again, I'll select the same net. And here the destination IP address would be anything. So let's just make this as 0000 slash 0. And here you need to mention the tag. So the tag again would be the same tag that we had created. That's HTTP 3000. And here the next stop would be the internet gateway. So let's create this particular route. So again, it's just targeting these particular instances that have this particular instance tag. So everything seems fine. So let's click on create. And let's refresh this and let's wait for this particular route to be created. So one good thing is that if you click on this particular route now, you can know beforehand what are the instances that go through this particular route. So you can see that there are already these two instances. So I can safely assume that these two instances have access to the internet, but let's check that out. So let's go to our instance again. And let's try to SSH into one of them. And if I do a ping on, let's say, google.com, you can see that it's able to access that particular server so the next thing that i'll do is i'll close this leave and the second instance that i have created i will remove that particular network tag and let's see what happens when we do that so let's click on instance 2 let's click on edit and here this particular network tag let's remove this and let's save this particular instance and now what will happen is instance 2 will have access to will not have access to the internet so if i ssh into this particular machine and if i try to do a ping on google.com it shouldn't work so let's see whether that has happened now of course you can use routes not only for the internet but you can also use it to restrict or allow access based on the network tags within the network as well so that's something that you can try it out as well so let's SSH into our instance now. And let's do a ping on google.com. And you will see that it doesn't work. That's because this instance, because it's not associated with that network tag, it will have no access to the internet. So that is how you can use your tags, not only for your firewall, but also for your routes. So please do check this out and do it on your own. And if you have any issues, do not hesitate to get in touch with me. I'll see you in the next chapter.